In the ancient sands of Egypt, during the zenith of its architectural and cultural might, the fourth dynasty reigned supreme. It was an era that saw the construction of the Great Pyramids, monumental testaments to Egyptian engineering and religious fervor. At the heart of this grand epoch was Ankaf, an Egyptian prince of noble birth and a pivotal figure in the annals of Egyptian history. Born into the royal lineage, Ankaf was the son of Pharaoh Sneferu, the founder of the fourth dynasty, making him the half-brother of Pharaoh Khufu, under whose reign the Great Pyramid of Giza would rise. Ankaf's life was intertwined with the grand projects of his time, serving as an overseer of works. His contributions were not merely administrative, they were the lifeblood that sustained the ambition of an empire striving toward immortality through stone. Ankaf's significance was further solidified through his title as a vizier, a position of immense power and responsibility. As vizier, he would have been the pharaoh's right hand, a role that involved overseeing the state's administration, justice, and the execution of monumental projects. Though records do not specify under which pharaoh he held this esteemed title, his impact was undoubtedly felt across his reign and beyond. The greatness of the fourth dynasty, and indeed Ankaf's legacy, was established through unparalleled architectural achievements, the promotion of arts, and the advancement of religious practices. The pyramids themselves, especially the Great Pyramid, are emblematic of the era's engineering prowess and spiritual aspirations. These structures were not mere tombs, but symbols of the pharaoh's divine connection and their journey to the afterlife. Ankhaf's era was also marked by profound artistic expressions, seen in the intricate relief work and statue craftsmanship, which celebrated both the divine and the mundane aspects of Egyptian life. The religious practices of the time, deeply entwined with every aspect of society, saw further refinement and complexity reinforcing the pharaoh's roles as intermediaries between the gods and the people. In reflecting on the story of Ankhaf and the fourth dynasty, we are reminded of the power of legacy and the enduring impact of our contributions to the world. The monuments of ancient Egypt, born from a blend of divine aspiration and human endeavor, stand as a testament to what can be achieved when vision is matched with determination. Ankaf's life encourages us to strive for greatness, to build our own pyramids, not of stone, but of deeds that withstand the sands of time. Through understanding our past, we gain the wisdom to shape our future, a journey of self-discovery that echoes the timeless quest of our ancestors for meaning and transcendence. As we delve deeper into the legacy of Ankaf and the era he represents, we see a civilization at the pinnacle of its power yet one that was deeply connected to the metaphysical realm. The Egyptians' profound inner standing of the afterlife, their meticulous attention to burial rites, and the grandeur of their temples and pyramids were not just for the dead, but served as a constant reminder to the living of their place in the cosmos. Ankhaf's work, particularly in overseeing the construction of these monumental structures, was not merely an act of filial duty or statecraft. It was an act of faith. It encapsulated the Egyptian belief in Maat, the concept of truth, balance, order, harmony, law, morality, and justice. These principles guided every aspect of Egyptian life, from the layout of their cities to the structure of their government, and most importantly, in their approach to the afterlife. This era's greatness, personified by Ankhaf's achievements, was not solely in its architectural marvels, but in its contribution to human knowledge and civilization. The fourth dynasty's legacy is found in its art, which conveyed the complexity of human emotions and the sanctity of the divine. In its hieroglyphs, which preserved their history and wisdom for millennia, and in its governance, which showed the importance of leadership, responsibility, and societal order. Reflecting on these contributions, we are reminded that our actions today are the legacy we leave for tomorrow. Just as Ankhaf and his contemporaries built structures that have endured for over four millennia, so too can we create works, ideas, 
and institutions that stand the test of time. It is through our pursuit of excellence, our commitment to our values, and our contributions to the greater good that we can achieve greatness. The story of Ankhaf teaches us that greatness is not handed down, but forged through perseverance, vision, and dedication to something greater than oneself. It encourages us to seek wisdom from our past, to understand the depth of our potential, and to build our future with intention and purpose. In doing so, we connect with the timeless human endeavor to leave a mark on the world, to contribute to the endless stream of human achievement, and to inspire future generations to reach for their highest aspiration. In this continuum of history, where Ankhaf's life and the grandeur of the Fourth Dynasty serve as a lighthouse to the ages, we find not just a story of ancient splendor, but a blueprint for human potential. This epoch, radiant with achievements in architecture, governance, art, and spirituality, provides a canvas upon which we can project our aspirations and challenges, reminding us that the essence of greatness lies in the ambition to transcend our limitations and the commitment to a cause greater than ourselves. The intricate network of societal roles from the vizier to the artisan, the farmer to the priest, illustrates a community united in purpose. Each individual, regardless of their station, contributed to the grand design of their civilization, embodying the principle that collective endeavor is the cornerstone of lasting achievement. In this sense, Ankhaf's story is not just a tale of royal lineage or architectural might, but a narrative about the power of collective human effort. As modern stewards of humanity's legacy, we are called to embrace the lessons of the past, to understand that our greatest endeavors are those that bridge the gap between the divine and the mundane, between what is and what can be. The monuments of ancient Egypt built to endure an eternity were not just tributes to the gods or the dead, but messages cast forward through time, urging us to remember that our time here is transient, but our impact is enduring. This message is especially poignant in today's world, where the rapid pace of change often obscures the longer view of history. Ankhaf's era reminds us to pause and reflect on the foundations upon which our society stands, to cherish and preserve the wisdom of the past, and to approach our future with a blend of humility and boldness. In the spirit of Ankhaf, and the architects of the pyramids, we too are called to build not just physical structures, but institutions, relationships, and communities that embody the highest ideals of humanity. We are urged to see beyond the horizon of our own time, to plant seeds for trees under whose shade we may never sit, but which will shelter generations to come. Embracing the lessons of the past, we in a stand that greatness is not merely the achievement of individual glory, but the legacy we leave for the future. It is the courage to face the unknown, armed with the wisdom of the ages and the conviction to act not just for the moment, but for eternity. Thus, as we walk in the footsteps of Ankhaf and his contemporaries, let us carry forward the torch of their achievements, illuminated by the knowledge that what we build today shapes the world of tomorrow. Let this be our guide that to know oneself and one's past is to unlock the potential of the future, a journey not of solitary endeavor, but of shared destiny, where each step forward is a step into the vast expanse of human possibility. In the echoes of Ankhaf's time, where every stone laid in the Great Pyramids carried the weight of human ambition and divine aspiration, we find a reflection of our deepest yearnings for purpose for permanence in the face of our own mortality. The legacy of the Fourth Dynasty, while anchored in the physical realm through its monumental achievements, speaks to us on a profoundly personal level about the quest for meaning and the drive to imprint our essence upon the fabric of the universe. This ancient narrative, woven from the threads of human endeavor, ingenuity and faith, transcends its historical confines, offering us timeless wisdom on leadership, creativity, and the pursuit of excellence. 
It teaches us that true greatness arises not from the pursuit of power or personal accolades, but from the commitment to a vision that elevates the collective, that serves something larger than oneself. The story of Ankhaf and his era also invites us to reflect on the nature of our contributions to the world. Just as the pyramids were built stone by stone, so too is our legacy constructed from the myriad small choices we make, the actions we take, and the values we embody. It challenges us to consider what monuments we are building with our lives, what foundations we are laying for future generations, and how we are contributing to the ongoing story of humanity. Furthermore, the achievements of the Fourth Dynasty underscore the importance of knowledge, of understanding the world around us, and harnessing this inner standing towards the betterment of society. The technological innovations, the architectural designs, and the administrative systems developed during this time were not ends in themselves, but means to achieve a greater vision. They remind us that progress and innovation are most meaningful when they serve to uplift, to enlighten, and to unite. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, the legacy of Ankhaf and his time offers a beacon of inspiration. It encourages us to strive for unity in our diversity, to seek harmony between our advancements and our humanity, and to forge a future that honors the wisdom of the past, while embracing the possibilities of the future. In embracing this ancient wisdom, we are reminded that our journey through time is a shared one, enriched by our collective histories, cultures, and achievements. The story of Ankaf and the Fourth Dynasty, therefore, is not merely a chapter from the past, but a living dialogue with the present, a call to action that resonates across the millennia, urging us to build our own legacies with intention, integrity, and a deep sense of purpose. Kindly click like, subscribe, and share this channel.